Hey, it's Ninja Boy. Welcome back once again to a new ROM hack, Monty Mo Island 4. As I click off and then click back on because my windows were in the wrong order. Yes, so uh, the next Monty Mo Island is here. It's been out for a while. When I finished 3, I was like, ah, 4 is not out yet. No, 4 was released like the month prior or something like that. But, uh, yeah, first time changing things up since forever. Monty doesn't seem to stop, does it? Doesn't it? Monty doesn't seem to stop, doesn't it? Claw Grip has kidnapped your friend, Spikey. As the uh, top little bits going, la 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 la. Um, so, first time switching things up, I am using uh, SNES 9X and a new controller. Brand new controller. I've not used it yet once. Feels okay. Feels nice. So let's go on Goomba Planes. This game bug me. <laughs> the A and B are backwards. Um, but yeah, if you know the uh, Xbox One controller layout, uh, A, A, B, X, and Y are backwards. Kind of. But we will just go and continue. Not expecting too terrible hardness out of this game. Seems pretty easy so far, the whole series. I'm not going to do the uh, one level of video like I did with three. That was a different thing. First, it started out as kind of a comical thing with the uh, robot voice, which... I like doing, but then I just didn't I didn't have time to really sit there and like do it because it actually took a lot longer than um you know commentating. Imagine that. Extra work and editing and all that. So with that said, we'll just move on forward. I'm not sure if I like the full-on art style of this one. Doesn't like look around or anything when I press up or down. No little jiggle jags. And he just uh, goes. He just goes. I do, however, I, I'm a fan of the minimal um, bar up at the top. I, I don't think the bar really needs to be big and fancy. I mean, the Super Mario World one worked. It's I mean, it was fine. Nothing was wrong with it, but uh, I do like I do like me some minimalistic uh, bar thing, whatever, <laughs> whatever it would be called. But there we go. First level down. So, what does the next level hold for us? Hmm, Sioux Forest. And we will continue. So, for those that don't know or have not seen, uh, like I said, I'm using um the thing, the uh the game game thing, uh SNES 9X that. So, uh, the newest one, 1.6, as far as I can tell, the newest one that's out, um, actually gives uh, the ability for SNES 9X to play old school, like, really, really old hacks that break in newer emulators. Like, it gives them the ability, because there's an actual setting area where you can set up um, the uh, <laughs> the bad setups of the original ZSNES and stuff. Like even the super old uh, SNES 9X and all of that. You can, set, you can set that up. So it's like there there is no point. No point moving forward to go uh, back to ZSNES ever again. I will say it is very nostalgic-y to play on ZSNES, and that is one of the reasons I played on ZMZ. 
Ooh, yeah. I, I like the nostalgia factor of it. I did. I like the, the nostalgia factor of it. But it's not the end of the world. It's nice to move forward. It's nice to have uh, new stuff. It's, it's just it's just nice. So I figured with uh, the change I was going to be making to uh, things to just change change up everything. It's been long enough. It's been 11, 11 years or so. Been long enough. Because I did, I used to, I used to, blue, blue coins. What are those? Ah, signify secrets. Not very useful secrets, but secrets. But yeah. I used to use the SNES, then uh, went to ZMZ. Now SNES 9X. Emulator, I've, I've always said is one of the better ones, uh, SNES 9X, because it is, it's much more um, emulator specific. That's not the right, not the, not the right type of thing. It is very emulator-y, console-y, console specific. Also, I just want to point out when Monty Mole is looking down, he looks like he has ears right here and I love it. <laughs> ears and a little tail. Best Monty Mole ever. Anyway, Hammer Bro Cave. Let's go and do this. It is a red level. So we will go through here. Lots and lots of uh, things. So somewhere in the, um, the game files, I think it was on the download page, there was a note on... You're able to get a feather in this game. However, uh, don't. Pretty much, um, it said, like, you can get a feather. However, the feather was not, like, implemented. So, the graphics are all screwed up on it. I'm like, eh, whatever. That's not really a big, a big deal. Because I guess it wasn't, like... The feather wasn't really meant to be there, but it just happened to be there, I think. Something, something about the bonus game or something. Ew, all I got is the secret exit. i not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting it that quickly. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get the uh, yellow switch palace out of the way. It is, oh, I seemed to uh, not want to get both the stars. Um, maybe just get one of them. I don't know if this is like eh. Can I fireball him? Oh boy. Yes, I can. I don't know if I'm supposed to be getting something specific specific or not from this like fighter fly is pretty easy to get so yeah I'm not really sure if I'm like my goal is to like destroy all the enemies or survive I don't don't really know. I really don't. I'm I'm confused beyond belief, honestly. Cuz yeah, is it like purely just survive or like what are we doing? What are we doing? Because I really don't know. Something is not very clear. Because I'm just frying these guys with... I can't start select. Is there like... 
fudge. Thing I was supposed to like aim for? Cause they kind of, they go off the side and that's it. Cause yeah, it's like I can kick him. I really don't know what it does when I do that. Am I just, am I going to just flat out die? I am. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of confused. Like, what, what do I do? Let's give it one more try, I guess. Like, now I know I get stars from these. So... Obviously, I'm supposed to do something. Is it like I'm supposed to get up to a certain point value? Like, is it just for one-ups? I don't really know. But yeah, it's like I, I don't know if I'm going for point values. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, kick them. I don't know if this is purely just for lives or something. Because, yeah, I can't start select out of it. And once I get here, it's like... Um... I will be right back. Okay, I need to refine that key. Um, <laughs> it's not obvious, at least to me, because I'm like, oh, these are just things enemies come out of. Yeah, this first part is, like, just a life farm. You honestly just go into the pipe that's all you do you really just go into the pipe also my recording reset at some point so that's that's fun I don't know how I don't know why probably because I accidentally Hit, I keep hitting the escape button because I'm like, oh, I'm so used to ZMZ and ZSNES and stuff. But no, don't, don't hit the escape button in SNES 9X. It, it doesn't work right. Because all it does is it like hides the menu, but at the same time, it's like, why do you even need that as a function? Like you, you just don't. That is the most useless function ever. Yeah, that's what happens. Either way, that is the Yellow Switch Palace, which is, uh, honestly, I, I don't even know if I would call it, like, hard, but it was definitely not straightforward. Because, yeah, it's not, it's not hard. It's not hard in, like, any any concernable way, but it definitely does not uh, leave much to uh, understand, especially when it's like, hey, by the way, there are all these uh, enemies that come out of these pipes, and you probably won't try them as like actual pipes, but that's how they work. They work as actual pipes. Okay. Can I? Yes, I can. At least it gives you ways to get, uh, make the hammer bros go away. Because they are not nice creatures. Okay. So, we will just go. Um, I was thinking maybe this would be the last, uh, level for now. Just because I was at like a 10 minute mark anyway, 10, 10, 15 minutes, whatever. Uh, depends. If there is a castle next, I will just do the castle. Because I've said this before, I don't like just leaving off games on like the castle if I can help it. But it's not really that big of a deal if I do. So. Whatever. 
We will just go up here and see where this takes us. This takes us to a red level, but that seems like a good stopping point. For now, this has been Ninja Boy, and I will be back later with more Monty Mole Island 4. See you guys then.